was you guys kind of that was a quick hook. Uh, but what did you like about the matchup with with uh, Clifford? And was that more about the matchup than it was the way Randy was throwing at that point? Um, it, it was it was it was both. I mean, Randy threw the ball great again. Uh, went out there and um, was cruising with a with a nice you know lower pitch count. Um, he really had his slider working. Um, but I mean, th this is just more of what we've seen. We've, we've just seen great outing after great outing. Uh, and in these very tight ball games, seems like he's pitched in a few of them uh, where he's kind of battling it out throughout the outing. Uh, you know, one run here or there, tie games, things like that. Um, you know, you end up in those spots where he's only got sometimes 50, 60, 70 pitches somewhere in in that range and and those are difficult challenges because you know good hitters are, are coming back up there's people on base uh in different situations different scores he might be throwing seven eight innings a game if, you know we uh we score five or six runs uh we may just let him go but there, the, the matchup also uh is is part of the equation uh for sure and and getting some of our guys in there that are very very fresh, uh, maybe match up well, and they're ready to go. So it was a good opportunity, and, and I think the, the right time. Audrey, give it a try now. Yeah, sorry about that, Rocco. Technology hates me sometimes. Um, I was going to ask that, how much do you like seeing your team pick up a win like this uh, using such a variety of uh, offense and just not having to rely on the home runs to get it done? Yeah, there, there were a lot of different things going on today from uh, – uh, Dauber and, and, and Trevor and uh, you know we end up using um, Raj and, and Romo uh, sort of backwards from the way we would normally use them but uh, again I think it fit well uh, to, to go out there and, and employ our guys uh, like that uh, and then you know we we hit the ball around the around the ballpark you know it's not necessarily what we've come to see as far as uh, some of our wins uh, in the past or or even a, a few this year but our guys uh, went out there and battled they had they had good at bats you know we we put a bunt down which we don't normally do uh either uh you know there, there were some pretty interesting things going on and uh, i heard alex talking earlier about it but the the play with rosie was uh a, a, such a huge uh moment and the people may not know that the sun's right in his eyes um it's literally right in his face uh at that time of the day um at that angle, you're normally thinking it's a it's a double over your head, uh, but instead of really freezing or, or getting a bad break, he gets a great jump. Uh, you know that that is, you know, he closes on the ball, finishes the play where it's probably really hard to see. Um, what a what a great play and and just a, a big moment, big moment. Yeah, you just mentioned Alex. Uh, the game from him today, he walked the block and then the double to eventually set up that squeeze play. And how big of a game is that, even though he maybe didn't have a huge hit, but he had such a big uh, factor into this win? Yeah, he's been playing very well on both sides of the ball. Uh, the work that he's been doing with our pitchers uh, is very apparent. Um, he's very prepared for these games. He's uh, he's caught and and... Uh, throwing the ball when needed uh, well, but um, he has a great presence out there. I think he's also a very, uh, very good calming influence on everyone. Uh, but he, he knows what he's he knows what's going on all around the field and what he's doing. Um, on top of what he does behind the plate, the at bats have been exceptional. Um, he he has a great idea of uh, of the strike zone and and the pitches that he wants to attack. Um, he doesn't get overwhelmed when he maybe gets down in the count. Uh, he's able to, to continually just go up there and put good at bat after good at bat, and and it's showing. Um, you know the, the the production is is good, but kind of the underlying stuff, the things you like to see that don't always show up in the in the stats that lead to, you know, winning games and things like that. He does all of those things, uh, and he does them on both sides of the ball. Lavelle. First question is why does Audra have two screens on here, and and two. Uh, from the first pitch uh, today, Rocco, well, you guys were playing some defense. What do you think about the world work? In addition to the Rosie's play, Marnes at third, and um, the double play that arises in Blanco third. Yeah, the, the defensive work uh, uh, that our guys have been putting in is, is definitely showing. Marwin, no matter where we put him on the field, uh, continues to impress. I mean, that was a, just another tremendous you know, body control play to, to, to glove it. He throws from different angles. 
uh, it's actually really fun to watch. Mar Marwin's a, a really great defender. Um, but what makes it even more impressive is just that when you plop him in a different spot every day and he just continues to do it, it's, uh, it's great. Um, you know, defensively, another really good effort, something that we've been able to say uh, from the beginning of the year until now, and, and we expect to continue to say it. But uh, it's, it's from the work. It didn't just show up. It's, it's Tony and, and, and the guys. And, you know, the outfield play has been phenomenal, and the work Tommy does with them has, has been great too. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's been fun to watch from the dugout uh, as well. And I didn't know if Audra's screen was going to keep splitting and all of a sudden we were going to have uh, four and eight and 16 of her. Uh, we were waiting for that. Uh,